Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Meghan threw away the chance to become one of the most famous women in the world for the chance to become one of the most hated women in the world and now has absolutely nothing left. Learn the process of how she lost everything in this video. Most of the royal family were in the know about the entirety of Meghan Markle's shady past, yet still treated her well. They treated her with respect. At the very beginning of their dating, Meghan Markle was treated in a manner that no royal girlfriend has ever been treated before. And at that time, it certainly seemed like everyone thought that Meghan was about to become the most famous royal. But now her reputation is in tatters and she has nothing to show for her time spent as a royal. But honestly, what other ending could there be for such lazy and greedy people? If Meghan was to blend in with the royal family, a lot would change, I believe. But Meghan did not want to be kind of like that late queen, whom, of course, everybody respects. And she was always so envious of the Princess of Wales. Now, Catherine is royal, respectedly very hardworking, elegant, and of class. Meghan is not the one who is considered to be feeling good when such acts are done for other people, such as bowing and curtsies. Of course, this has shown respect, only from a cultural tradition, however, a selfish, narcissistic person like Meghan Markle would never accept that. Finally, when she had to accept the bitter truth that Harry was never going to be king, therefore, she was not going to be queen, and hence the family would never be at peace. With all that, she told him so, and they had to leave. Off they went, trying their best to smash the royal family. I mean, we have had so many accusations of bullying staff, failed high-level visits, and deceitful interviews. So obviously Meghan Markle has tried hard to ruin the image of the royal family. But, fortunately, before these baseless allegations, the royal family holds on. People still put up with the royals. But, regrettably, in this have to suffer the late Queen and Prince Philip in the last years of his life. And perhaps that's why most of us could not forgive Harry and Meghan for doing what they did. Meghan. Meghan. Now, Meghan Markle tries to keep the mask on. She tries to persuade everyone she is a good and kind person, but all the time, the mask is slipping. People are not seeing an actress in love with the royal prince. Because, really, folks, all it takes is a narcissistic evil witch of a Meghan Markle. One who takes herself way too seriously and is also a huge fan of word salad. Always pulling the racism card to act like she's a victim and try to get sympathy. There's nothing more to her. But perhaps one of the most controversial topics that really, I think, cuts to Meghan is the fact that she did, allegedly, have a hysterectomy. She faked being pregnant not just once but twice, and now they're both in the line of succession. And by most, this is exactly what Meghan should receive, an utter disregard, for this is the way to deal with a narcissist. If only we pay her no mind, we then deprive her of her narc supply. The only thing that still remains to be fixed is all the unanswered issues regarding the pregnancy. I believe this is really way too important just to brush off. It was really a double standard, how the press is torturing Princess Catherine just because she had an operation, and they do not investigate the truth of these invisible kids. The peoples of the realm are, therefore, well within their right to demand actual evidence of such, for only then do they have to be listed in the line of the succession. For the good of the kids, so to say. I mean, people will finally stop speculating about them. All they have to do is just provide a DNA test. Well, the results rather. I mean, seriously, if those children really are real, then they're going to be innocent in this whole damn thing. They did nothing wrong. And if the integrity of a really long line of succession has actually been compromised, then yeah, cause for one to start being worried. It is one aspect of the bond of trust between them and the monarchy that simply cannot be undermined. If that is undermined, it sets a bloody bad precedent. Luckily, though, we do still have the children of Wales, and it's hardly as if you had to be a bloodhound to find their parents. And Prince George is the most important child in the current history of the UK. 
Next, of course, is Princess Charlotte and then Prince Louis. I don't think the people of the UK, its dominions and territories, have anything to worry about. Prince William will bring his three beautiful children along with the two Invisibles and their children before Prince Harry. Speaking of the Invisibles, well, that sounds so much like Harry and Meghan, so-called parents who are too busy jet-setting around the world in private planes without giving a thought to their offspring. They are responsible parents, not one bit nurtured. I mean, just look at the way Meghan acted when she did that little charity visit at Children's Hospital in LA. She was so phony. At home, I don't believe that she reads books to those kids. I mean, who knows where they even came from? Everything is just for PR. Be it the kids she hired, or asking someone to carry them for her, or even children with cancer, as in the case of the hospital visit. And all of that is unforgivable. What I mean to say is, using sick kids just to get attention for herself, that's so. It's one thing after another with this girl. First, she's the center of the universe, and then she uses sick kids to make her look like Mother Teresa. It's sickening and totally presumptuous. Other celebrities go to visit sick kids, sure, but never to the extent she does. It is therefore very obvious that, in comparison with other members of the royal family, Meghan does not really have an interest in real charity work. She is classless. Her personality even did not get along with the aristocratic living which the royal family had. And with her complete lack of work ethic and class, she really lacked a lot and didn't succeed. People with actual class. People who have household staff who have class treat their staff well. The royal family is a perfect example of this. Their staff are treated with a lot of respect. They don't demean the people who work for them. I mean, even if they do small jobs, all of them, they still respect them. The workers are treated with politeness, but it's a person with no class like Meghan Markle who's so abusive to her staff. It was pretty clear that Meghan Markle was really lacking in etiquette and manners. I mean, the minute she got that ring on her finger, she started in on the bullying against staff members. And then, too, she would make those little digs against Catherine. The girl's behavior is disgusting to the whole way, and, oh gosh, she is so immensely jealous of Catherine. Give me really great creeps. I will not trust her with anything near the Wells family. But most of them in the royal family are friendly and nice. Not surprising at all, William and Catherine had been treated ordinarily during the visit to the market. During their stay in Wales, William and Catherine were treated ordinarily and friendly just like any other neighbor or friend. So the people of the UK already have a history of giving the royals the privacy they deserve. I mean, and give them their peace, treat them like they should, just another neighbor. Honestly, I think it's great. But Meghan, oh my goodness, that's not what we see in her. She would go on and on about how she has no right to privacy. And he even went as far as telling the media off for being this cruel to Meghan. But last time I checked, it was Harry and Meghan who were the noisy ones. I mean, how many times has Meghan given a call to the paparazzi to have her taken a picture? Then Harry complains all at once that he's the victim. If the press was really hounding them, if they were really that mean as Harry and Meghan would have us believe, I suppose the truth of Archificial and Invisibet would have been leaked by now. I mean, this is the clear truth, nobody gives a rat's ass about the two. I mean, Meghan Markle is an ex list actress, and Harry is an ex-prince. Speaking of Invisibads and Artificials, I do remember reading that Archie was actually a pretty popular name for middle-class British people. Later, I had an article read, in which a family secret code name for Prince George was mentioned, so it became pretty much clear why Meghan Markle insisted on that name. And I think it also had something to do with that comic book that she was such a big fan of when she was a kid. And later on, she followed up with Lilibad so that she could see Steel, a pet name used for the late queen. She called herself Lilibet because she couldn't really say Elizabeth when she was young. This is a name that the members of the family and the most loved husband could only call her. It was a private and cute nickname that she used. And then Harry and Meghan came along to spoil the end of her life. 
They need to be brought to book for the rotten things they are. Megan also exploited to the full Harry's jealousy of William to put into execution her own ideas on how the monarchy should be changed. I don't understand to save my life, though, what kind of modernizing of the monarchy Megan thought was necessary. All these media people keep harping on the fact she wanted to modernize the monarchy, but you never really hear specific things about what would that have been. I mean, it's a family. I don't see how you can modernize a family. I mean, maybe she wanted to be charging people to go to things like the Trooping of the Color, events that people go to. And maybe she wanted to be charging people when they went to see the royal family members carrying out engagements. I wouldn't be surprised. Perhaps she would have liked to install a turnstile on the mall with an entry fee for balcony appearances. Meghan Markle's ego told her that she could overthrow a 1,000-year-old monarchy and then remake it in her own image. Delusional, yes, but then again, this is Meghan Markle we're talking about. I mean, for crying out loud, all she really had to be able to do was to follow just a few basic rules, just show good etiquette, and she could have lived in the lap of luxury for the rest of her life. It's amazing thinking about just how bad she really blew it. Meghan could have been the kind of history when it comes to race, and she could have been the one so important to that institution. She would have been able to give the rest of her life in service for the country and the Commonwealth. There are so many classy, smart black women in the U. S, and I'm sure there are just as many in the U. And Harry, he could not choose one of them. Not with black race, I mean. I guess he chose Meghan because, really, they are a lot alike. I mean, they're two peas in a pod. You see, Harry wanted somebody who would stick his middle finger up at his family and help him fight his older brother. He is such an idiot. Meghan Markle is also given the impression that she was so shocked that people would be interested in her biracial heritage so much when she joined the royal family. Well, okay, I mean, she had hidden it or covered it up all her life, so I guess that's why. Meghan has just publicly declared that she never felt like a black woman until she came to the UK, as if that's something one would be upset about. But quickly on the heels of that, she had realized that she could play that race card, and ever since, she had been playing it every chance she got. Plus, if Meghan Markle really is such a proud black woman, then why was it that she didn't want anybody to talk about her race? She hates the royals and loathes the British public for bringing up the fact that she is mixed. Apparently, she would rather not be recognized as belonging to her race in certain instances to her advantage. But, of course, not most of the time. She, too, wanted to be treated as a white just as everybody else in the family where she found herself to have become a member. At the same time, she also wanted to reserve the right to pull the race card every time something didn't go her way. Like now, Meghan Markle, it's really hard to say at this point, obviously, because when I see her, I just see who she is as a person. But I think if I didn't know who she was, I might think she was a little bit attractive. Of course, she is not pretty as Catherine. But she is one kind of woman you might, you know, a man could find attractive. But God, once you come to know what's on the inside, all you see is how hideous she looks. And that was the reason she had no friends for a very long time, and that is one of the reasons she really isn't popular. Look at the way she treats her own family, her dad, and her brothers and sisters. She completely alienated herself from them. I mean, color doesn't matter, right? If you are as awful inside as Megan is, nobody's gonna think you're beautiful. And that's because, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference what she does outside, the inside is still so putrid and so sinister. And I believe that Megan is more than capable of discriminating against other people, especially people of color. Meghan Markle was very biased in that she said she declined the offer of help from one of the late Queen's most esteemed and trusted equities, and to her, that made her a racist. Meghan Markle was very biased in that she said she declined the offer of help from one of the late Queen's most esteemed and trusted equities, and to her, that made her a what Meghan had to do, however, was just know her place, know that she was an actress, and she had to be part of the team and do the job well. But Meghan Markle was not interested in joining the team. And this is one of the biggest problems. 
she could not play the game with the team. She just wanted to get all the benefits in the package of being part of a royal family and using connections that come with it in order to make herself rich and also famous. Apparently, Meghan Markle is just using both people and things, serving herself. Her overinflated ego and a sense of entitlement have destroyed her forever. We will never forget all that she has done, and by this time, her ruined reputation goes ahead of her. That is always going to be the case. For that horrible woman, there is no chance of success. She's just going to set herself up for failure after failure. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.